Happy Tuesday. So, the choices we make, we talked about that yesterday. Perspective. Perception. Some of this, I think, I mean, truly some of our perceptions and our choices seem inherited. You know, don't have, don't feel like you have a choice. Um, but we do have the freedom <laughs> to break away from or rediscover, to find the choices we want to make. And that takes a lot of courage to, uh, and I talked about this a couple weeks ago, I think, uh, just the courage to look within and find out or take the patience and the time to discover where you want to be in this experience like where do you want to be in this world you know which takes us to like what do you want to do and if you're not discovering or challenging yourself or if you don't you if there's not something in your life that you just like light up to do then maybe keep seeking I mean that's up to you you can each of us can go through life miserable and uh, begrudgingly I did that for a long time uh, but I did, I was, at the same time I was pursuing and I was, you know, saying I wanted this and I wanted to be happy and I wanted, you know, it didn't, all of, on some level, everything that I've wanted to have happened to me and uh, all of my dreams have come true uh, on many levels, not the way I thought it was going to, you know, shake out though, uh, which is amazing. You know, um, and it's also indicative of life. You know, uh, I talked, I think, yesterday about, you know, the judgment of what I think is happening in my life, whether it's good or bad, is just in the framework and the context of my own story that I've created. It's, and, and if I don't think what's happening is good, it's just because it's not anything that I've thought of in my story. And maybe it doesn't feel good, but. I don't know the payoff. I don't know the end of the game. You know, I'm not privy to that information. I, you know, for me now, I can work towards a result, stay in action, and if I'm present for the moments that are happening in front of me and to me, and the experience, and the experiences of life, then, you know, good, bad, or indifferent, they're just experiences. They may be painful. Life is painful. I mean, life is painful. <laughs> it's, it's grand and it's amazing, but it's certainly painful. And if you've never had any pain in your life, I, I question that, you know? Um, yeah, I, life on some, to some degree is suffering. It's suffering not getting what you want. It's suffering maybe physically, emotionally, um, you know, dealing with unresolved issues. I mean, that's, you know, that's not rainbows and unicorns all the time. Life isn't like that. And uh, it's, I don't think it's supposed to be. I, you know, I, I, I feel like I really am here to learn something and, uh, you know, le learn something beyond like one plus one equals two, but learn something about maybe even, you know, um, I, I don't know, to outgrow fear. Commencing to outgrow fear. I love that, that phrase. Making a decision to outgrow fear because fear of, every, of anything and everything is what holds me back. Fear that I'm not good enough. Fear that I don't deserve something. Fear that I'm going to lose something that I want or have. And, uh, you know, to live in the innocence, in the innocent mind frame of a child it, it, to some extent is living without fear. You know, 
and the tragedy as we've as I grew up you know I adopted a narrative to try to manipulate and control the fear and then that narrative stopped serving me and then I needed to find ways to outgrow fear that wasn't about being present or taking or shifting a narrative or growing it was just about medicating and inebriating and then I didn't have any fear and then you know I just wanted to be crazy and and I got in trouble a lot of trouble and uh, you know then I woke up you know I had to crash and burn yeah I don't know it's kind of amazing that's I don't even know where I started but anyway um, yeah I mean if all I'm here for is to have this experience why judge it just have it and make decisions based on and choices based from my heart rather than the pollution that I have adopted in this narrative brain <clears throat> Look, when I act from my heart and I take actions from my heart, I'm certain I, it doesn't it make me immune from being hurt, but I don't regret the actions that I've taken when I come from a true heart. I risk. You risk when you go from, when you act from your heart. If I can quiet and go from my intuition, you know. It's interesting. Less re I have had less regret when I've done that. Things have not turned out generally the way that I think they should, but who who knows? Maybe I don't know the future law. I don't know what, what happens. I don't know. And I love that. Much love. Happy Tuesday.